ZP, here we go. Here we are again back in North America. Well, virtually anyway, I suppose. For the same matchup, like I mentioned earlier, we did before. It's the San Francisco Shock <laughs> versus the Vancouver Titans. All in all, still 31% here in City Center. And, you know, Vancouver to a degree, they are kind of waiting for EMP here. Trent sets up and Nero takes yeah. out Dalton early. Ooh. And wait, oh, what? No. Vancouver's investing here down one. This is highly questionable. No one on Shock was even low. I, I don't know what opportunity Rule saw there, but it does not pan out, Doha. Yeah, Fried Wiener down as well. Fire does get the kill on the Nero, but it's looking pretty rough for the Titans overall. And, you know, that that is, you know, you get those situations, oh. right, where the team call is to go in, you lose someone uh, immediately at the start, you try to make something out of it. Maybe they still yeah. can. With kills coming out for Vancouver now, looks like they might be able to flip it after all. Comes out. Uh, Vancouver engaging fast here is of maximum importance. Roof drops the transcendence. Pulse bomb in from there. Those strikes fire. Fire out of the fight right. early. Linkser drops EMP, but it's after two already dead. Well, the dragon strike comes through. Doesn't really connect with anybody, and it looks like it's going to be a round win for Shock. As soon as they can finish off Linkser here, he's going to go ahead and teleport away. And that should be it. San Francisco Shock secure the first point here on Oasis. Yeah, I think that was both Window and Supercharger, so Anj just had power upon power there and quickly flexed it upon Vancouver and, you know, kind of ends the fight before it truly begins. Vancouver, though, you, you take a look, they have a huge amount of vaults. The question is, can they get decent engage here? Chongsik is going to get in overtime, so this is still a winnable fight coming up for Vancouver. That's yeah, possible. He comes out. Oh, okay, that's a good start anyway, but no, oh, they no! don't even get to the point. Oh, my, and San Francisco shock able to take the first map of the series in short order. It's kind of taking the side route here. Trying to let Super go first and be able to set it up for Ans to walk in a little bit safer. Looks like they'll do just that. Oh, Nero's Pulse Bomb did get eaten by Fried Wiener. So Rolf got a kill on the Nero. It's an opportunity at least. Oh, Ans is out for blood though. Goes after Chonchik and finds him. Yeah, he, he went for the dead eye for the quick reload, going, I need more bullets, yeah. give it to me. We don't need the Tracer, who had his post no! bomb and is like, no! are you kidding me? No! no! Come on! That did not just happen, ZP. That did uh, not just happen like that. Are you yeah. kidding me? Uh, a couple kills for the Titans, but not enough to really make much of a difference. It's 35 seconds now. <laughs> For the Titans to try to take A, but the wind is out of their sails. The energy big. isn't there, it looks like. It is a big pick on the Twilight. Maybe we spoke too soon. Yeah, I, I, they're going to go for a Nano Barrage here in all likelihood, where you look oh, at Teru. Sure. Nano's probably going to be incoming in a moment. Shock is going to be back up to five, so it, it's yeah. really on the split second the Nano activates. Can Teru find something big? And the Shock, they're willing to give up progress at the point here. You look at it. Two ticks already gone. They're gonna wait till the last second. Here they go. But look, into the air. Dalton drops pulse bomb, gets nothing. The nano's on Teru. Teru firing. Dalton get gets there. an arrow. It's one pick right, so far. Nero Barrage down. comes in. And they might Shock. have Oxen. I think they do. I think they've got point A. Okay, so in the end, uh, Titan's doing a good job of capitalizing on a pick and sort of zoning their way into a point A take. That was just a lot of abilities used well coming in from the side. Needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Doing just that. Looking for the Brigida. Hovering over. Now, more rockets gets All Twilight. Right. It's two All right. Picks up for Vancouver. Let's Make go. it three. The far gets a big momentum here as Vancouver might just get the point with time after all. Oh, Terra just trying to put this team on his back right now. Dalton helping out, though. And the Titans may actually be able to take this. We'll see. San Francisco Shock's defense collapsing a little bit here. Well, not to lose anyone in this moment. They get Choi out of the mech. Teru to the back Ooh. off the Nano. 50 HP gets healed back up. Barrage over the top. Teru continuing to light up the Shock here, Doha. And it's exactly what Vancouver needs to have a chance of staying in this map. And they've just about done it. I mean, Shock just can't seem to handle the Farah right now from Teru. And Dalton on the side kind of doing a good job of capitalizing on all the chaos that Terra's producing, they're on the verge of actually capturing with time remaining. Yep, Terra under heavy pressure from the Shock, especially on the hit scan end. Has to back out for a moment. Dalton meanwhile on the ground, taking ball advantage. On's out of the fight. Dalton continuing to move forward. Immortality field gone. The kill feed filling with blue. Pride gets demaxed, but still not too big of a deal. Vancouver keeping on the pressure. Shock though, trying to drain the clock you're doing. They've done a really good job of it. And now we're under a minute. Vancouver needs to clean out this last little bit. They're almost there, but not quite yet. 
Yeah, the strategy has been good for Shock to just send people on, just stagger as much as they can. Say, you know what? We acknowledge you're probably going to take this point, but we are going to make sure that you do it with as little time remaining as possible. And man, this is one of the best staggers I've seen in a long time, actually. This would be unreal if Shock was able to bring the clock Wait. all the way down to zero. It's becoming more and more second. likely. They got more people on to point. They might even outright win the fight the way this is going. Oh, oh and Deadeye gets two. Oh, boy, dog. That's probably it. Vancouver oh, so no. close, yet so far. This is a nightmare. Vancouver Titans had two minutes where they were less than a tick away from taking the point. But the San Francisco Shock staggered masterfully. They held. Can they finish it? We're into overtime. Overtime's in progress, but it might be a very short time. Doa Rule picked up by Nair on the back. On's back in his happy spot on top. Fried out of the fight. And that is going to wow. be it. The Shock wow. go up two to nothing here in the series off a relentless defense here on point B. It's OK. Health food got really big in the 2040s, though. Even more so I than guess so. It's, it's unbelievable. Everything is gluten free. Right. But you know it's not free of bullets from BAP. The widow or window coming out <laughs> early. Dalton in the back, looking for the pulse bomb. Still looking for any opportunity. Dead eye connects with Lakeser. Pulse bomb in from Dalton. Just damage onto the tanks. This is gonna be enough. Fry takes down Twilight, and yeah, Vancouver looking like they're gonna hold. Yeah, good hold so far from the Titans here. They do force San Francisco back a little bit. Choi Bin trying to uh, duck and weave his way to uh, su success. And they're working out. So, the Titans with a decent hold here. Yeah, Shock stymied a little bit, but they are coming back with uh, some pretty serious ultimates. And, whoa, you don't peek the Zen. You don't peek the Zen Yada when you're out of the back. Come on, Chan. Come on, Fried Wiener. You know better than that. Yeah, the, the problem with Fried is that he really wanted his mech back, uh, so he, he decided yeah. to take the risk. Now they're going to start the beginning of this without Fried. It's going to hurt their position. He will be back so long as no one gets picked off in the meantime. And, oh, they forced out the immortality field early before Fried's Whoa. back. And Mero gets in, All drops right. the pulse bomb on an already weakened Chomsic. The shock create an opportunity off that pressure, started from the Fried stagger, and it just escalates from there. Yeah, this is going to be point B for the San Francisco Shock decisive team fight win, and they didn't even need to use the uh, Dragon Strike from Glister as well, which is nice for reason. We see a bit here and there, but he's just not as popular as he used to be, for sure. This is a very quick pause, um, so technical issues. I know. Resolving as quick as they crop up, apparently. Dalton, though, hey. pulse bomb. Good to go, oh, gets the stick! Nice. nice stick from Dalton to start off the defense yeah. right for the Vancouver Titans. But that said, Superman just to pick one up. And now Nero joining as well. Dalton trying to finish off on the tanks, but he just can't get quite enough damage into the mech to do it. Violet comes up and says, you know what? It's time. It's time for me to show that I can win these 1v1s. And he does it. Uh, it's all time now for Vancouver. This is not yep. going to be great. Already, they lose the Widow immediately as she peeks back out. I don't think they have a comp, really, the stall for long. They drop the Supercharger, but there's no one really to back it up. But hey, drop the Transcendence just in case. You're not going to need it next round. Why not? Yeah. And we swap over. Uh, that's a quick time, though. A real quick time. Yeah. You know those end of round Transcendences, man? That's just like uh, the Disco Ball. That's the that's the party at the end. That's what that's for. And the defense. Now they got to hold until their main tank gets back. Also, this is a really big window for Lynxer because the Shock, if they want to counter poke, they don't have a shield to hide behind. It's where Widow will you know, get brief opportunities for big pickoffs. But so far, Lynxer just getting damaged. No headshots to be found just yet. And here we go. Self-destruct for Choi again. Lead the Shock back onto a point. Chomsic right. down first again. The tank focus fire. Unreal for the Shock. And now Transcends out for Vancouver. Oh, oh that One minute so left bad. to go, and they're committing. But Lynxer gets one pick. Still winnable now for right. Vancouver. Roof. Firing here from the hotel, takes down from Glister. Linkser though gets another. Links with two picks so far. Vancouver still the opportunity. Yeah, but a Widowmaker can't take the point on her own. They're already staggering the Diva a little bit. Glister does go down. <laughs> nice uppercut from uh, Fried there. And uh, yeah. so San Francisco, it's a, it's a little bit trickier hole. They need to give a little bit of space, but. Man, I can tell you from experience, nothing feels worse as a Zenyatta player than uh, hitting your Transcendence right after your main tank dies. That is the worst feeling in the world. Yeah, it, it's not ideal, whether it be casual or pro play. Pulse Bomb oh. eaten by yeah. Joy. Not the flashiest eat, but hey, it counts. Woo. Nero, meanwhile, finds Rolf and Nero on a rampage towards the end. Good, solid, reliable tracer play coming in from Nero. And with 10 seconds left, that could be all she wrote here. Vancouver, maybe emergency touched Noah, but they might not even get that. 
Uh, it's going to be tough to even get in there. We'll see if they can do it. No, can't quite. And that is the series, ZP. San Francisco Shock with the 3-0 victory over the Vancouver Titans.